There it is. Well, welcome back to another video of DB fishing. It's cold and chilly out here, and today we're on a little trip. Uh, got out early this morning, made the drive out to Manitoba, and we are at East Blue Lake in the Duck Mountain Provincial Park. Awesome, beautiful place. Love coming up here. One of my favorite places to fish. Uh, so many lakes here. Uh, Lori Lake, Gall Lake, Beautiful Lake, Child's Lake. They're just all down the road. West Blue. But today we're going to hit up East Blue Lake. Uh, first time being here. Uh, pretty excited. We got uh, splake, rainbow trout, and uh, lake trout, and also some big walleye in this lake. So who knows what we could get into. Hopefully we get a few fish today. Uh, got the skidoo all packed up. Ready to go with the flip over. Super cold out today. <laughs> Not too excited about that. It's like minus 38 right now, degrees Celsius. So uh, supposed to get a little windy, but I think we're pretty sheltered in this lake. It's awesome. So many trees. We're in the bush. So yeah, enough talking. Uh, I'm going to go find a spot. I got my Manitoba Lake uh, card for my hummingbird. Going to go poke around, set up the tent and cameras with some heat and get going. So stay tuned. Okay, well, we're all set up here finally, got out, <clears throat> uh, drilled a few holes in some different spots, I just wanted to find uh, kind of a point or something, so I did find a point, and we're kind of on an ed edge of a rock, uh, rocky bottom, and then in more shallow is some weeds, so we're fishing about nine feet of water, jaw jackers in about four feet of water I've set up with a tube jig. Um, today, to start in the shaft, I'm going to use a marabou jig, black one, and then I'm going to stick, kind of switching those two out, uh, atomic tube, again, the orange and white one, with a little pink tail, and in on the jaw jacker I have another small tube uh, with a minnow head. You can use bait on this lake, uh, just not live bait and barbless of course here in manitoba i'm also going to set up the aquaview camera here i just kind of get got it going already had some fish swimming by so i want to get down there um so yeah uh hopefully we get on one good sign i've seen two fish on the camera it's about 8 30 now or quarter to nine so uh yeah prime time here for the morning so all i'm doing here is i drop down oh other way and i uh want it to be about that 10 to 7 uh, feet and I found this rock kind of bottom usually rainbow or splake kind of that rocky or trout or lake trout sorry or splake will like that kind of rocky bottom so yeah I'm just kind of set up just on the edge of that as you can see on the aqua view just on the edge of all that rock towards shore so Hopefully uh, it pans out this spot, I guess. Just gonna try chum here off the start. Just cutting up some minnows. Let a few of them sink down. If you cut them into small pieces, it 
makes kind of those scales shine far away for the fish. Charge hacker. Oh. No! Oh my god. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, I just heard it go off. Darn it. Well, <clears throat> heard the jaw jacker go off. Had it in a little shower in front of me. And I lost it. So cold out there, my little phone thing when I went to take it off broke. And I just kind of slack blind him a bit and he got off. All right. Well, it's warmed up here a little bit outside. I went and drilled some holes. All around this kind of area, different depths. Uh, haven't seen anything since those two right away on the camera. So I'm going to pop outside and do uh, a little scouting, see what I can come up with. So yeah, I'm just going to go GoPro here for the next little bit if I catch something. But no camera or underwater camera or the big camera here. So yeah, that's the plan now. So I did a little 20, 30 minute skidoo ride and I'm back. I've uh, tried pretty much a ton of tackle here, tubes. Uh, now out on my uh, jaw jacker, I got just a kind of a big uh, flasher and then about six inches of line down to a little octopus hook and then just a minnow hooked onto there. And then in here I'm using a little dinner bell now and still got the atomic tube tied on my other rod so we'll see hopefully uh it's about two o'clock right now a little after two so hopefully within the next hour or so it starts heating up here because she's been pretty slow you never know maybe the big one just need that one right would 
definitely like a splake. Uh, never caught a splake before, so hopefully tonight. Only one out here today. It's actually warmed up quite a bit. I'm pretty sheltered in here, so that's nice. Now we just need some fish here, boys. Yes! It's a big splake! Oh my god! Oh my god! Yes! Get it in! Yes! Woo! That thing was eating my chum off the bottom. Oh! Woo! Finally! Okay, I gotta get this unhooked. There we go! Big splake. Awesome. Finally, all day. Basically, it's four o'clock. This thing came in, ate the chum, and uh, finally ate my hook. Okay, I'm gonna get a quick measurement and get him back. Slimy. Okay, easy. Uh. 18 and a half. 18. There we go. Okay. Let's get him back. 18 and a half inch splake. East Blue Lake. Awesome. And there he goes. Gone. Okay. So there we go. Just got him back. Kind of a little bit of chaos. Tighten here. Uh, 18 and a half inch splake. First splake for me. Uh, pretty awesome excited it took it was a battle all day um, I seen probably five or six today on the camera uh, Marked a few outside. I was going in and out kind of half hour to hour intervals. It's so cold my line Rods were freezing up. So I mean I thought about moving a little earlier about two o'clock today And it was like ten minutes after I was thinking it I seen one on the camera a little splake come in so I decided to pit in here and hope for the evening bite maybe we'd pick up uh it's about four o'clock right now so yeah maybe we'll get a few more uh what happened is my aqua view uh earlier today i was had it in the pointing down mode so i could kind of see down only have a bit of a cord out and about an hour ago i switched it to flat mode just looking straight straight on and uh, I kind of didn't have it right on the bottom. So what happened is my tube jig, my atomic tube, I had about two to two and a half feet off the bottom. And uh, earlier I was chumming with some minnows and they were all laying on the bottom. And what happened is that splake came in and was uh, eating them up off the bottom. So I uh, couldn't see them on the aqua view just because it wasn't picking up on the camera, underwater camera. But uh, what I did is just laid my atomic tube on the bottom, and as he was eating up that chum, he hit me like three times. Finally, the third time, he uh, swallowed it whole. I let him take it a little bit, and then hit him. So yeah, that's all I got him on was that little atomic tube. Just gonna focus. Uh, okay, I'll put a picture up so you guys can see better. But yeah, it's just a atomic tube, pink tail on it. 
basically a little one and a half inch tube jig, uh, orange and white, and then just tipped with a minnow head. And uh, <clears throat> that way, when I cut up all that chum and lay it on bottom, when they come in, uh, I just laid that tube right on the bottom and it wanted that minnow head. So yeah, I don't know much about splake fishing. Like I said, it was my first time, but uh, just something kind of a lake trout technique. Yeah, it worked out, I guess. Yes. Oh yeah. Oh. Ooh. Oh boy. Come on. Get up. Oh, it's a big one. That's a big boy. Get him in, Dylan. Oh. Can't grab him. Are you kidding me? He's going back. Oh, still got him hooked. Oh, how did I not grab that? He went, turned around. Okay, come on. Get his head up. It's a big one. Bigger than the last. Oh, he's got some fight. He's hooked good. Oh, come on. Oh, no. No. Oh, are you kidding me? You know, grab that. <sighs> Feel that. How do you know? Frustrating. I did. He turned in the hole, couldn't really grab him, and I just thought I could let him run and get him back up. He was fighting like crazy and then popped off. It's kind of amateur hour. That was uh, definitely bigger than the last one. Oh, tough one. Alright guys, well I think I'm going to wrap up this video before it gets dark out here. I got a lot of packing up. Uh, get the snowmobile all packed up and head in and then I got a long drive home ahead of me um, Awesome day though. Uh, not a ton of action for the video of fish, but more of an adventure. It's a new lake I was trying out and sometimes you just got to try new things where I live There really is no splake or a lot of trout lakes So it's about a three and a half hour drive for me to get up here at the Duck Mountain Provincial Park uh, East Blue Lake is beautiful. It's awesome. I don't think I've ever uh, fished a freshwater lake this clear. Not that I can think of. It's it's honestly awesome. I even this afternoon I went for about a 40 minute uh, snowmobile ride and just took it in for a bit. And broke it up. Broke up the day. It's awesome. So yeah, if you haven't been up here, honestly, you guys try it out. It's a lot of fun. Um, Trout fishing, you know, the lows can be low and uh, very long, but the highs are a lot of fun. And uh, that splake uh, definitely got the the juices flowing, that's for sure. Um, yeah, but uh, appreciate everybody watching, uh, subscribing. Uh, please share the videos. I uh, also want to thank a couple uh, fishing buddies, uh, Roger Garris and Dustin Brown. Uh, they kind of fish this area a little more than me, so they were kind enough to give me a few tips and pointers of some uh, tackle and things like that. So I uh, really appreciate it. But yeah, got my first splake. Uh, definitely will be back up here and uh, it was a lot of fun.
We'll catch you guys next time.